Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at the confirm box and the prompt box. Now the confirm box is used when you want uh, the visitor of your website to confirm something, whether he agree or he she sorry agrees or disagrees with a certain thing that you ask them. So uh, let's create a variable ver conf equals confirm and let's type inside here uh, click yes or cancel oops cancel there we go now what we did here is just like our alert box we created a confirm box with uh, the text click yes or cancel and we made that a variable called conf now what the confirm box does is it uh, pops up this box which looks like the alert box but instead of just OK there's going to be two buttons the yes and the cancel and if you press yes it's going to return the true and if it doesn't it's going to return false I mean if it if you press cancel it returns false so what we could do with that is create an if statement so if conf equals true this means that if the user click yes it's going to return true so the variable conf is going to equal true so if it equals true we want it to do something let's say document dot write you oops you clicked yes uh, I need that and that yep and we could say else which is when he clicked or she clicked for, uh, cancel which is going to return false we can write document dot write you clicked cancel okay so now what we do is save our work and refresh here and it says uh, the page at fire blah, blah blah ignore that it says click yes or cancel let's try clicking yes what it did was return or executed the code for when conf or the variable conf equals true which is you clicked yes and let's refresh again and try clicking cancel it says you clicked cancel so this is the confirm box which uh, returns either true or false as a boolean value depending on whether you clicked yes or cancel and then after that what you could do with that is create an if statement uh, to execute the code depending on what the user uh, pressed now we are going to be looking at the prompt box now the, what the prompt box does is it's like the an, a confirm box but instead the prompt box uh, asks the user or the person who visited your website to input a value before doing something so it's easier to show you than uh, trying to tell you from trying to tell you what it is so let's create var uh, prompt for prompt equals prompt so just like our confirm box we are going to create a prompt box uh, with a variable prompt and inside here let's say please enter your name uh, first name and we again we are going to create an if statement say if something uh, prom is not equals to null now uh, the prompt box has an input text field and then underneath it just like a confirm box has either either an OK or a cancel button. Now, if it press, if you press OK, it's going to return a true, boolean true, okay? Or it's going to imp return the input value if the user actually input something in the input value. And if they press cancel, it's going to return null, which is another data type. So if the variable prom isn't null, not equals to null that means that user actually clicked OK then do something okay and what you want is and uh, prom is not equal to this uh, let me explain this means uh, and in JavaScript 
and other most other uh, web languages or some of them this means that if this is true and this is true then execute this code so what it does is that uh, both this and this has to be true instead of this code here to execute okay so this is the and now uh, this means that the user didn't press cancel because if they press cancel it will return a, vol, uh, a null and uh, if the variable prom doesn't equal null and if the prom variable prom doesn't equal this what this is is that they entered nothing into the uh, input field so if they didn't press cancel and if they didn't if they entered something into the input field, what we want to do is document dot write. Uh, hello plus name, and let's give it a space. Uh, now refresh, and there we go. Hopefully, this will clear out any of the confusion that I may have caused for my bad explanation. But the prompt box has an input field, an OK button, and a cancel button. So let's try pressing cancel now. Now, when I press cancel, because the prompt is going to equal now, this code won't execute. Therefore, there won't be anything happening. And again, let's try pressing OK, but ins put nothing over here nothing happens that is because although i press ok therefore the prompt box returned an input value because the prompt value uh, variable is equal to this which means that it's got nothing inside no string inside it's an empty string uh, it's not going to execute this code so let's type in uh, john and press ok it's going to, oh, sorry, uh, what I did here was a mistake and what I should have done is instead of uh, hello plus name, I should have wrote my variable name, which is prom. Because I was returning or entering my first name, I accidentally wrote name here. So I'm supposed to write prom here. So let's refresh and write John. So what happens now is because we pressed OK and entered a value into the input field, it's the prompt box is going to return the input value and therefore uh, it will say hello John, like so. So that was a quick video on confirm box and the prompt box. Uh, that's about it. That's the three alert uh, uh, three alert boxes in JavaScript. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.